today. I know it's kind of a nerve-wracking experience. It was definitely nerve-wracking. Uh, didn't hit till you know once we stepped in the weight room, but uh, mm -hmm. I thought it was fun. It was a good experience for, for everybody that was here, and uh, I think I did well. Pretty pretty uh, satisfied. What did you do for bench? I hit 31 reps. 31, okay. Ooh, yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, not too bad. Thought I could do more. How many did you hit, Gary? This is yeah. You mentioned it's kind of a nerve-wracking experience, but just what was your preparation like? Um, I, I know you went to that All-Star game out in California, but then maybe after that, where did you train? You know, what were you doing to get yourself ready for today? So I trained in Bat Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Traction Sports Performance. Uh, I was there for about two months, and uh, you know, just all pretty much preparing me for this. You know, uh, there for from nine to nine to three, eating healthy. <laughs> but, uh, you know, technique uh, was big uh, over at the traction, and uh, Mac truly did a great job with uh, the group that I was with, and I think the numbers showed it. I was pretty satisfied with So the who team. are you hearing from? Uh, right now I just talked to the Chargers and uh, the Steelers, and before I talked to the Cardinals and the Browns. So just uh, fingers crossed right now. You, know, you didn't really play good. a lot in college. Does, does that maybe help you that there's not a lot of wear and tear? So to speak? I know you're a mm -hmm. young guy, but you know you didn't get beat up during yeah. your college career. Definitely, I think so. I, my body felt, I'm sure, a lot better than a lot of the four-year four, four -year guys mm -hmm. uh, coming out this year. But um, a lot of teams I talked to said that my, my, my best football is yet to come, so right. I believe in it too. What are the biggest things they're asking you about at this point? Uh, at this point, just um, the how does, how do I think uh, the whole one year, just the one year, affected me? And you know, there's just pros and cons of not having the exposure. But you know, I think I had a pretty pretty good year to to get to the next level, and uh, I think they believe it too. And uh, I'm excited to see. How about I mean, level. are you using that the, the work you put in as kind of a selling point of you know your work ethic and? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think uh, you know, Coach A. Uh, a lot of these scouts have talked to me and said that like, Coach A and the coach staff have nothing but good things to say about my work ethic and all that. So. You know, I appreciate that. I, I owe it to them because they're the ones that got my my uh, rear end in the shape and you know got got me to this point as well. So you seem like you're ideally suited for nose tackle. Is that what they're talking to you about? Yeah, it? yeah. Everybody's shooting for the nose, but I'm willing to play anything on the D line. Anything I can get a job at. So you'll play cornerback, right? I play cornerback. <laughs> <laughs> when when there's so much on this day, especially you know when. You don't go to the combine. This is kind of the main. Uh, yeah, I mean, was there pressure coming into today? Uh, you know, beginning of training, you want to you want to be perfect. You want to do everything right. And then towards the end of the training, towards the closer you get to pro day, you kind of just you're ready to get it over with and you know be done and you know let everything play it out. But, be able to uh, eat again. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I, I just Are you going to local boys? <laughs> I already ate local boys when I got here. <laughs> but my family's like, I'm going to eat, but yeah, I know food definitely is going to be a big one. But you know, we're still going to be training and uh, mm -hmm. staying in shape because hopefully the next step is the NFL. And, uh, Any workouts scheduled? Not the yet. Next couple weeks? Okay. Uh, a couple of scouts said that they're going to be in contact next week, so hopefully. Yeah. So what do you anticipate the next? I mean, I guess it's six weeks or whatever till the draft. Um, just what do you what do you think the next uh, month and a half is going to be like for you? Uh, I think it's just a lot of calls and workouts. Uh, <laughs> Seeing uh, really my my athletic skills on the field because I only had a year to show it, but they want to see for themselves is what they're saying. So I'm hoping for a few workouts, and uh, we'll be here. Uh, me and Isaac will be training here for, for a little bit with the coaching staff uh, that's still here. So I'm excited about that. Is there anything about the pre-draft process that you didn't know that? now you know or anything that's surprised you about how this whole thing works because it is a very bizarre yeah, I think, ordeal <laughs> I think everything really just because I didn't you know I only played a year of this and the whole this whole year has been all new for me so um, everything to the agents to the scouts calling you how everything you know situated the training and I think all that's new for me and uh, it's pretty eye-opening because you know it's big possibilities for the future what to come as well. You said you were pretty satisfied with how today went. What do you think you did best today? Uh, best, I'd say my 40. Okay. Which was? 300 pounds, I ran a 4.9. Oh, so that's good. Nice. So it was impressive that. Mm -hmm. During training, I ran a 5, like a 5.0, 5.1. So. It's a little faster today. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I was hoping for it. Yeah, exactly. that's what I said. For <laughs> Being home, maybe. I don't know, but yeah. So uh, I, once a beaver, always a beaver. I mean, do you hope to come back here and, and stay involved with the program? Definitely. I, I talked to Coach A and because uh, we're going to be here for training mm -hmm. for, till pretty much the draft. And he's like, yeah, we'd love to have you out here to, 
for some spring practices. So was it cool to see some of the you know former? I mean, uh, PJ was here yeah, and, and uh, Doc guys. and all those guys. Yeah, those, those are the guys when I first came yeah, in. So yeah. you know, they're still messing with me because I didn't get to play with them. But but uh, they're happy to see see me out here and forward to the school. Is there anything else you're trying to drastically improve on? Like these scouts have told you, hey, you need to work on this. I think uh, my physical shape. I need to get a little bit more in shape. We did we did a lot of technique and you know benching and all that stuff that wasn't too much of conditioning wise, mm -hmm. which I think is way key for Parade because. But uh, I think I just need to be more on top of uh, you know conditioning. I don't need to bring up the Ducks while we're here at Oregon State, <laughs> but they said a lot of guys yesterday said they won't watch the draft because you know the anxiety might be too high. Will you yeah, watch? I already, or? I already said I'm not watching it. Just if I get a call, I get a call. But. <laughs>